Hello friends, in this video we are talking about some engine troubleshooting. First, we will discuss is about oil and fuel dilution. When fuel mixes with the lubricant, it reduces the viscosity of the oil, meaning that the viscosity may be too low to create an oil film capable of withstanding heavy loads and speeds in some parts of the engine. This results in friction between the metal surfaces and wear of the parts. These are the following that can cause fuel and oil dilution. Number 1. Worn out injector o-ring seal. Injector o-ring is to not to dilute the oil with fuel. Number 2. Bad injector. Excessive fuel spray due to bad injector can result to incomplete combustion and allows a certain amount of unburned fuel to pass down between the pistons and cylinder wall, and resulting in fuel and oil dilution. Number 3. Defective fuel high pressure pump. The fuel high pressure pump also has an oil supply for lubrication. So it is also one of the possible causes of fuel and oil dilution, and the damage oil seal as well. This is a simple way to check the o-ring seal of injectors. So we can find out if there is a leak or not. Remove the fuel high pressure pipe and apply air pressure and check the injectors if there is any air leakage in the injector mounting or if there are bubbles. No air leakage or bubble, the injector is properly sealed. In the common Railman D2066 engine, I see only one reason that can be the source of mixing oil and coolant, and that is the cylinder liner o-ring. And this we have already experienced here. Because the Man D2066 engine has no water passage or oil in the cylinder head gasket. So there is no other possible cause of oil and fuel dilution but the cylinder liner o-ring seal. Engine oil in radiator coolant. The most common reason of engine oil mixing with the radiator is the oil cooler. It may be in the oil cooler gasket or the oil cooler may have a hole. So when this happens, hydro test the oil cooler immediately. Have you ever experienced water dropping in the radiator but you don't see any leaking? This I have experienced many times that the reason is due to broken o-ring in the air compressor. When the water o-ring seal in the air compressor is damaged, the water will go to the piston and in turn to the air filter dryer, and may damage the air valve's components. So you must always check the drain plug of the air tank. I hope that you get an idea and information about this video. Keep safe and God bless.